Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to day two of this program. I want to appreciate everybody that, that have been so consistent to this training. And um, the consistency has been so, so wonderful. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for coming for this program. You attended the one, you attended the two, and today is day three. What exactly are we doing for today? Before I start, I remember very clearly I told you people that we, we are having an advanced class training. And the advanced class training starts from 21st of June and ends 5th of July. What's the cost for the advanced class? The advanced class is what? 10,000 euro. The cost for the advanced class training is 10,000 euro. If you pay for that training, you will get the complete package for the program. So let's start. Today, we look into Meta to the four. We only talk about Android version. Are you okay? Then we'll look into Meta Trader. We'll look into lot size. Sorry, we talked about lot size yesterday. They will now go into partial closing. We we'll also dive into what trade stopping. We we'll look into trade to in trading. Are you okay? We'll look into what to in trading. Then afterwards, we'll look into edging if time permits. Are you okay? So let us start immediately. What's MetaTrader 4? Mm -hmm. MetaTrader 4 is an electronic trading platform widely used by online retail foreign exchange. Widely used by online retail foreign exchange. Speculative traders. Mm -hmm. And it was developed by MetaPoots mm -hmm. software and released in 2005. The software is licensed to foreign exchange brokers who provide the software to their clients. Now, this software consists of both a client and server component. The server component is run by the broker and the client side and software is provided to the broker's customers. Now, all of all this I'm saying is English language. MetaTrader 4 is just a platform like I told you yesterday that the brokers give to us with the retail traders to trade with. And brokers, get all their commissions from Meta from MetaTrader 4. I hear me. Brokers get all their commissions from who, from what? From MetaTrader 4. Now we there are there are so many things I I, I look class MetaTrader 5 also exists. It's just that I prefer to use MetaTrader 4. I hear me. MetaTrader 5 as well exists. But I like to work with it, Meta Trader 4. The way Meta Trader 4 works, Meta Trader 5 as well works in the same way conveniently. I repeat, the way Meta Trader 4 works, Meta Trader 5 also works in the other and um, also in a convenient way. Let's talk about two ways of entering the trading market. Let's talk about two ways of entering the trading market. There are two ways of entering the market. One, market execution and pending order. I repeat, market execution and pending order. Market execution is a type of execution when a client is placing an order and specifies both volume and price. The order should be processed instantly. Now, what am I trying to say? Market execution is a way of entering the market directly yeah. without Pending it. Now, if you enter the market directly, you are enter the market, either you buy the market or you sell the market. You enter the market, either you buy the market or what? You sell the market. Pending order is an order to be executed. I repeat, pending order is an order to be executed at a later time at the price you specify. Now, let's have a quick look of what pending order is. Mm -hmm. 
Welcome, welcome to those of us coming. Let's say you have a trade going up like this. And you predict that this trade will later hit the entry point. So you put your entry point here. You can put your take profit here. Let's say your stop loss is here. This is your entry point. Now, pending order is when you predict that this market, there's every tendency that this market will come here and hit the entry point. And once it comes here to hit the entry point, what happens? You are automatically in the market. Now, once it hits the entry point, you are in the market, it can from here proceed and go to hit your what? Your take profit. And if it hits your take profit, you have won in that first market. Now, class, you can take note of this. Let me to define take profit and stop loss. Take profit is a point whereby the market teaches and the market loses automatically in profit. Take profit is a point whereby the market reaches and the market closes <clears throat> automatically in profit. Stop loss is a point whereby the market reaches and the market closes in loss. Stop loss is a point whereby the market reaches and the market closes in loss. Are you here? Now, take profit is also known as target profit. There are some white people I, I actually learned from them. They sometimes they call take profit, target profit. Take profit is also called what? Target profit. Let's proceed. Now, the next thing I want to deal with is what you call pending orders. I want to talk about pending orders proper. Pending order, like I said, is when you predict that a trade will reach a point and that trade will start going off. Now, a very good example of what I have here is a buy stock, a sell stock, a buy limit, and a sell limit. A buy stop is an order placed above the price, and the price keeps going up. A sell stop is an order placed below a price, and the price keeps going down. A buy limit is an order is an okay. A buy limit is an order placed below a price, and price then goes up. A sell limit is also an order placed above the price, and the price keeps going. Down. I agree. So these are very good examples of what buy stock, sell stock, buy limit, and sell limit. You see this buy stock and sell stock. I will explain all these things proper in the advanced class. Partial closing. Partial closing is a form of existing strategy where the forex traders plan to exit the position at several predetermined defined take profit level. Let me explain myself. If you look at my screen very well, you notice that there's this trade is running and this trade is actually at 0 0.10. Now, if you look at it closely, the trade was actually having a profit the trade was actually having a profit of $14.45. The trade was actually having a pro profit of what? $14.45. Now, class, if you edit the lot size, I repeat, if you edit the lot size and you make the lot size 0 0.06, you are going to have a profit remaining, which is what? 
5.30. You are going to have a profit remaining at what? 5.30. Let's go to my screen. Let's say we have a trade. And let's say we are using a lot size of 0 0.05. Let's say we have a trade running. And the trade run is 0 UFC. And let's say Mr. Ikechuku was in a profit of $20. And at the moment, he was working with a lot size. The man was working with a lot size of what? 0 0.05. Now, this man wants to, wants to pass a close this trade. Let's say feast is no more is no more convenient way the market is moving. So he now decides to take part of this profit. What will he do? He will come here with type zero point zero for you. What's the type zero point zero for you? What happens? It will be left here on this profit with what? Let's say probably $16. Do you know the beauty about this? Immediately, this man edits his own lot size to 0 0.04. He will see underneath those with profit. It's going to see close with profit sixteen dollars. Immediately, the man closes this in profit. This closure will go into his profit margin. This closure will go into what? His profit margin. Once it goes into his profit margin, guess what? The man will be left with zero point zero one running in the forest market. Now, this 0 0.01 is going to be left with the remaining $4. Let me repeat myself again. This man has a trade running, and the trade is at $20. So, immediately, Mr. Ikechuku edits his lot size to 0 0.04. It will see close with profit $16. Immediately, the man closes with $16. Guess what? He's going to have 0 0.01 running. That 0 0.01 run, we have a lot size of what? We have a profit, a, a profit of what? $4. So if the man should close $16 in profit, he will still have 0 0.01 lot size running with a profit of $4 running. So the good news about it is, if that trade likes, let it go in, it is take profit. Once it hits its take profit, it will be an additional $16 plus whatever profit it has struck. Let's say probably that's when we struck a profit of $7. So this man will be having what? $23 in the market. Are you with me?
this man will be having $23 in his profit margin. But if God forbid, this man, finally, that 0 0.01 goes the other way. That would be $16, probably minus $7. It will left it at nine dollars. What am I trying to say? Once a profit is partially closed in the forest market, you don't have to feel worried anymore. Because why? Because you have partially closed that profit, you have booked part of the profit already in the market. I always advise people on something. It is not compulsory that your trade must hit the profit. I tell them this. For instance, people that trade with robots. They don't wait for you to eat, take profit. Once they get some profit, they are what? They are off the forex market. So that is that about partial closing. Welcome, the people that are just coming. For those that are just joining us, you can always watch the recorded version of this class. So let's proceed. The next one is trade stopping. Trade stopping. Some people call it trade stopping. Why some people call it trial to stop? Trade stopping is another way of managing the trade too. How does it work? Let me raise this, this. It's too large on my screen. Let's say I have a chart and I'm actually buying Euro GPP in the forest market. And let's say I'm on a buy here. This is my entry point. This is my take profit. And this is my stop loss. Class, don't worry. We are going to do practicals with Mr. Ike Chukwu's phone today. I'm just teaching you theories for now. Let's say I am in a trade. And probably I enter there. That's my entry point. You know, once in about when you are buying in the forest market, once you cross the entry point, you are already in profit. And when you are selling the forest market, once you go below the entry point, you are already what in profit. And let's say the market is consolidating. When there's a consolidation in the market, there's a pullback. There's there's a pullback. You can call it a consolidating market. You can call it a ranging market. Now let's say. Mr. Ikechuku was already in a profit of $30. Now, the man is feeling worried that, ah, this trade should go down. I'll be in a loss. And today is Friday. I don't want to stay further in the market. What will the man do? The man will move. Let's say the value for this take profit was 0 0.89. 300. The entry point was probably plus just give me a minute, I'll be back. Now, if this trade should eventually, at this point, what would this man do? This man will come here. It will move. Let's say the stop loss has a value of 0 0.8888. So this man, because he wants to book part of this profit, what will he do? This man would move his stop loss. Above the entry point. Moving the stop loss above the entry point to come here.
to your stop losses here. Class, you agree with me that the value of the stop loss here can never be the value above. Ma according to mathematics, if the stop loss should be above 0 0.8900, the new value for the stop loss should be probably 0 0.8900. Should be what? 0 0.8900. So if God forbid, this man's trade, which was running, now decides to go backwards and hit the stop loss, the man does not need to cry. Why? Because he will finally go on with some dollars. Probably he will go on with what? $20. That is that for trade stopping. That's, that is that for trade stopping. Mr. Ikechuku, please unmute yourself. Good evening, my Oga. Hi, Zero Two Zero. Hello, good evening. Yes, sir. How are you doing, sir? How are you? It was good. Yeah. Thank God. Uh, sorry, I'm going to stress you tonight. So sorry about that. I want to use your phone no to do some practicals. But we are able to download those I told you to download today. <sighs> I didn't, I didn't. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, so sorry, I didn't. No problem. Number one, I'm so sorry, class. I dropped the information late. I was just, in fact, I dropped the information late. But is there anybody in the house that was able to download those um, applications today? Is there anybody, if you know you're in the house, you did, you can just hire me and just promote yourself and it's a fine. I I did. Oh, Mr. Bassi, well done, sir. Well done. Well done. Okay, Mr. Ikechuku, no problem. Let me work with Mr. Bassi's phone. All right. Yes. Thank you, sir. One more time, I apologize for dropping the information a bit. In fact, it wasn't really easy for me to do. I just had to find a way to drop it. Mr. Bassi, please unmute yourself. I want to work with your phone. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Bassi. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Bassi, right now, I'm going to make you the host. Okay. And if I make you the host, okay. your phone will be displayed on the screen for others to see. Are you with me? Don't worry. I will okay. tell you how you go about it. Okay. Now, Mr. Bassi, you are now the host by the grace of God. So you are the ogre of this program. So, sir. Okay. This is what you do. Right in the in, on your phone, you see something like share on the Zoom you are working with right now. Check it. Have you seen the screen? Something like share. You see something like share. Have you seen? It? No, I've not seen it. So go back to your Zoom app. Your Zoom app where you are you assessed to join this class. Okay. You see something like share at the, on, at the base, at the bottom, in the middle button. There's something like share there. Okay. Okay, what are you seeing? Okay, at the I've seen share. Oh, God bless you, sir. Click on share, sir. Okay. Okay. You will see a list of items displayed, right? Yeah, I've clicked on share. You will see a list of items displayed, right? Yes. Now, Set for screen. Yes. Click on screen. Yeah, what I've seen here after pressing share, mm. clicking on share, mm. um, to start sharing. God bless you. Click on start sharing. Now say okay or cancel. Okay, okay. Let's okay. see start sharing. Mm. Your phone okay. is very yes. soon. Yes. Mm. You've seen it. Your phone okay. is still okay. I've you like seen a minute. Google Drive. Display, yes, display all okay. over, yes, and go on, go on. Mm. Okay. Your phone will display, man. Let's just give it some minutes or some seconds. All right. Or should I click on share whiteboard? 
No, 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 no. Just leave it. If you click on share, normally when you click on share, you're supposed to see screen. Okay. Then you click on screen. Then you see something yes. like display all, all, all um, over other apps. Are you? So that's okay, I it should, means I should I, sh I should click on screen. I click should on click screen. on screen now. Do you have screen showing on, right now? Okay. Is it screen showing there? Yes. Click on screen. Okay. Screen. Okay. Wait. Hmm. Click on screen. Click on screen. Okay. After clicking on screen, what did you see, sir? I see Zoom allow display over. Yes, other yes, apps. that's where I'm going to, sir. Click on that. Allow display. I over should all now on it, right? Yes, yes. Please go on. Please okay, go that on. is by owning it. Okay. Yes. Mm. Okay. Is taking time. Well, let's just see if it's going to display. Let's do it one more time. Yes, I'm still with you. Click on share. Okay. Your Zoom. Click on share. Okay. Oh, hold on, Let hold on, Mr. Basi. Hold on, hold on. Don't go back, please. Oh, your phone is showing. That's beautiful. It's showing up. Mm, leave it. It's showing. I can see everything now. Hello, okay. people in the house. Can you see his phone? I'm sure they are seeing your phone. Mr. Ikechiku, can you see his phone, please? Yeah, um, I'm seeing the last uh, screen Class of abuse. yours. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you are seeing his phone. Mr. Mr. Bassi, can you please go to MetaTrader 4 on your phone? Okay. God bless you, sir. That's it. Click on Meta to that book. Oh, this man is a trader. <laughs> he knows how to use Meta to that book already. Okay. Let's say. Let's um, say you want to pick a trade. Okay. On sorry. The 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 one I display here. The one I display here is Meta uh, Meta Trader Five. Meta Trader Five. Do you have MetaTrader 4? Yes. Please go to MetaTrader yes. 4, please. Go to MetaTrader 4. Okay. 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 Are you downloading? Do you want to go to... Oh... No, I, my, my phone have a little problem, so I have to go to Google Play Store. Okay. I see it now. Okay. Hello, can you scroll up and go down? I'm in Trader 4 now. Yes, go scroll up and down. Let me see if you have all the currency yeah. pairs there. Okay, you know what? Because of time, let us work with what, what we have. Hello, sir. Can you click on Meta Quotes? Yeah, click on Quotes. It's okay. So you have an account with them. There's no problem. There's no problem. All right, yes, go back. Yes. Go back. Ah, Mr. McKenzie wants to enter this class. But we don't have, we can't wait for him again. Okay, but no problem. I think he watched the rest part of it. Class, let's say we want to enter a trade. Let's say we want to enter a trade as a buy or a sell using market execution. Now, you see, all the currencies you have, these are what the core currency pay. And Mr. Bassi, click on Euro USD. Let's want to enter that. Key. Yes. Click on Euro USD. Wait. 
Now, you okay. see four things. I should open the chat. New, okay, I'm coming, sir. You see new order, open chat, simple properties, advanced view mode. Now, sir, click on new order. Click on new order, sir. Wow, what's happening, sir? Hello, sir. Mr. Bass, are you there? Mr. Bass, are you there, please? Wow. Maybe he's having a network problem. Hello, sir. Are you there, sir? Hello. Mr. Bass, are you there, please? Okay. You know what's class? If me, oh, hello, Mr. Bass, are you there, please? You know what? If Mr. Bassi cannot explain further with his phone, if Mr. Bassi cannot explain further with the phone, I assure all of you, I will prepare a screen recorder for you tomorrow. I will prepare a screen recorder for you and send to you in the group. I assure you on that. I will prepare a screen recorder for you and I will send to you. What does the screen recorder entail? It entails how to pick a trade, how to set a pending order. I will explain more of that to you to, in, uh, be, tomorrow morning. I will send it to you in, in the group tomorrow morning. I'll show you on that. Hmm? Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you for attending to this class. I sincerely appreciate this. Thank you for your likes, your, your subscription, and all of that. Thank you for watching the video. And please, don't forget that the advanced class starts on Monday. The cost remains ten thousand. Tomorrow will be the last day for our class, and tomorrow's class, I pray I will I will invite a special guest to share his experience to you as regards that first class. Thank you, everybody. Please, is there any question in the house? Is there any question in the house? Please, before I go. No question. Yes, I'm with you, sir. Okay, no question, Mr. Kichu. No question. Okay, thank you. Madam Iberi, yes, do you have no any question. question? Thank you, sir. Madam Iberi, do you have any question? Hello? Yeah, Madam Iberi. Hello? Okay, Mr. Emmanuel, good evening. Yeah. Good evening, sir. Yeah, how do we you, shift? Sorry, sir. Please, yeah. how do we shift our uh, what, uh, stop loss? Okay. The only Hello? way you can shift your stop Hello? loss, I can hear you, sir. The only way you can shift your stop stop losses, if you are, if for, if for instance you are in a trade, and the trade is okay. running, click on modify all the trade. Yes. Once you hold the trade, you see modify button and light it. So once for the five bots is okay. alighted, okay, sir. click on it. Now, yes. go to the stop okay. loss. Here you have the value. You can now change the value of the stop loss. Yes. Once you change it, it will be what? It, you, you will notice that what? Okay. The stop loss has been moved. Understand? We move up. Okay. And it will move Thank up. you, sir. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yes, you're sir. welcome, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yeah. Madam Ibiri, please ask your question. Yeah, can you hear me? I can hear you clearly. Good evening, ma'am. Uh, good evening, sir. Yes, ma'am. Well done, sir. Sorry, well for done. now, I don't have question because I just starting with you, so I don't know. I'm a new person in the church. Okay. I saw your advert and I pick interest, so okay. I don't have question for now. Okay, no problem. Please, were you yeah. opportune to watch the one and the day two of the video, ma'am? I saw it this evening, but I will. I will do that. Okay, please try to maybe watch. by tomorrow. I will. Mm. Yeah. And um, oh, no problem. I'll try to watch the one and the two. Mm. Thank you. All right. So that it doesn't look I, as I if you that. miss out of the class totally. You understand? Yes. Yes. So hopefully by tomorrow I'll pick up. There's no problem, madam. There's no problem. Mm. If you know Thank you, you cannot sir. even assess the day one and the day two's video. Send me a, a, a send me hi on um um that's WhatsApp. You know you can send me a private message. Yeah. 
and uh, once we yeah, send a private yeah, yeah. message, yeah. I will copy the link of the YouTube video for the one and the two. I will send to you so that you can. All watch right. It. Mm. All right. Thank you, sir. Yeah, no problem. I welcome, man. Welcome. All, All right. right. Yeah. Good night, everybody. Good night. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye, Madam Ibu. Good night, Mr. Bye-bye. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I yes, appreciate it. You're, You're welcome. welcome. I'm looking Happy forward to do to business with you. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Right. <laughs> yeah, all right. Bye-bye. Yeah. All right. Good night, Mr. Ike Chuku. Thank you. Bye-bye, everybody. Yeah. Bye-bye. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Mm -hmm.